Hello, I am Seshad Rimohan, Chairman of the Systems Engineering Department at UALR. And today I want to tell you why systems engineering is the right degree for students who want to be successful engineers in the 21st century. In our systems engineering program, all students take more than 30 hours of core systems engineering classes. They also choose one of four options for specialization, mechanical, electrical, computer, or telecommunications engineering systems. Each focus area also includes more than 42 hours of coursework. Sometimes when I visit with parents, they ask some tough questions like, why should my son or daughter enroll in the systems engineering program rather than go to a traditional program and get a traditional degree? I tell them our program is unique, the only one of its kind in Arkansas. Pursuing a degree in systems engineering rather than a traditional degree is advantageous because in systems engineering, students learn the big picture. When engineering students graduate and go into the workforce, they are required to do more than just work in their set discipline. They work with other engineers, and our systems engineering program prepares them to do just that because it teaches systems design and analysis. It teaches them how to meet with customers, gather requirements, and design systems to meet those requirements. When engineers design systems, it is uh, critical to optimize these systems. So we teach our students optimization. In industry, engineers design systems given certain constraints, usually money, time, or people constraints. We teach students how to assess all the options available and design and build systems that optimize achievement of the customer's requirements. Engineers are required to test systems before they go into production, so our students develop expertise in simulation. They learn to test systems as lab prototypes, simulate systems on computers, and test their performance. As they climb the management ladder, engineers are often required to make important decisions. And there is risk associated with those decisions. For example, what risks are involved if you take resources away from one project to complete another project more quickly? We teach our students decision and risk analysis so they are able to assess the risks involved in key decisions uh, they will make as engineers. Systems design and analysis, optimization, simulation, risk analysis, these courses are not taught in traditional engineering programs. And perhaps the best news about systems engineering program at UALR is that our graduates get a traditional engineering education too. We have compared our curricula against traditional mechanical and electrical engineering programs and found them to be very comparable. And we have been told by engineers at companies that hire our graduates that our students arrive on the job just as ready to make an immediate contribution as graduates of traditional engineering programs, if not more so. That's why getting a systems engineering degree at UALR is the best choice for any student who wants to be successful as an engineer in the 21st century.